Good evening, everybody. The 2017 college football season is underway at Truman State. Greg Nesbitt loves to coach him up. And you know what? He should get a kick out of this year's squad that returns conference freshman of the year quarterback Jaden Barr and running back Jordan Salima. The offense should be loaded. Let's not forget the other side of the ball. The defense only allowed just over 20 points a game last year, and it should be better. The bottom line is the Bulldogs were not happy to share the conference title last year. Losing our last game to McKendree and losing an outright conference championship and knocking us out of the national playoffs for the first time since 94 really left a uh, sour taste in, in our entire organization in a good way. And I think our players have really used that motivational chip, if you will, on their shoulder uh, throughout their offseason and their summer preparations. The Kirksville football team was back at practice on the same field that they held their scrimmage on Saturday night. Coach Conrad Schottel was pleased with what he saw. It actually looked like football, looked like a scrimmage. It was good. We had enough kids to actually get a good look of, at 11 on 11 and um, just really eager to clean up some minor things, fine tune some stuff. Um, defense, looked, defense looked sharp and, and we're, we're excited to keep rolling. Over in Memphis, Scotland County's success will not just come from the X's and O's, but it will come from being in better shape than their opponents. We need to be in shape, and uh, with Marceline coming in week one, we know we're going to have a lot of kids on the field a lot of, with a lot of playing time, so uh, we just got to get in shape. Over at Atumwa, the Bulldogs' new motto is full speed ahead on every play. I mean, the biggest thing I want to see is just execution. You know, guys having a good understanding of what they're supposed to do, and if they don't know, I think we, we, we did a we made a big a big time improvement on if we weren't for, for sure just going 100 miles an hour anyway. Sigourney Kyoto lost a lot of players from last year's squad that went eight and two. It's really no big deal as they are used to it. I mean we've got more numbers out this year than we have. You know I'm in a jersey shortage right now, so that's a good problem to have. And uh, I think last year's season just brought a lot of excitement. The Kirksville boys soccer team is coming off its best year ever. Last year, they won some games late in the second half, and that's why they came into camp in game shape. A lot of the boys have been working hard over the summer, so uh, we can focus more on the soccer skills and getting better at those. Um, the intensity of our of our possession games and our kick arounds and the drills and, and that stuff is, is high. On the 10th anniversary of Barry Bonds breaking the all-time home run record, he said he wishes he would have played one more year. That way he could have hit 800 home runs. I wish he had new steroids. The only juice Teresa uses is orange. She's up with final weather right after you watch this. 